Welcome to the Lemper Report, food news today. A few dairy farmers are breaking the rules when it comes to antibiotics. Cows producing milk don't receive antibiotics unless they're sick, because drug residues immediately appear in the cow's milk, which is a violation of food safety rules. But a new report from the FDA looked for 31 different drugs in samples of milk from almost 2,000 dairy farms and learned that some farmers are breaking the rules. They're using antibiotics that routine tests don't try to detect because the drugs aren't supposed to be used on dairy cows at all. According to NPR, the FDA is working on plans to stop these illegal drug uses by dairy farmers, which would hopefully now include testing all milk for a larger number of antibiotics. Imagine how much easier it would be if you could figure out from an early age what food sensitivities your baby will have. Well, maybe we can do that sooner than we think. Researchers from the University of Alberta and University of Manitoba in Canada found that patterns of gut bacteria in young babies may serve as biomarkers of future disease. They learned that infants with less diverse gut bacteria at three months were more likely to show sensitivity to certain foods like egg, milk, and peanuts by the age of 12 months. What's old is new. At least that's the new menu strategy of both Burger King and McDonald's who are hoping to woo customers with a trip down memory lane. Recent menu additions at these fast food giants selling items that were removed years ago in order to boost sales. For example, McDonald's brought chicken selects back by popular demand as a limited time offer. I don't even remember chicken selects. And Burger King resurrected the Yumbo, a hot ham and cheese sandwich on a hoagie bun last seen on the menu in 1974. Maybe there's a reason that both of these have been replaced. To find out more on all these stories, just click on the annotation link. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. And visit supermarketguru.com for more information and more videos just like this.